Okay, welcome to the Let's Talk podcast, the Friday edition. Um, for this one, we're going to be talking with a good friend, Ryan. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Long cool. time. This, yeah, long time indeed. Yeah, so in this segment, uh, we're also going to talk about poetry, how Ryan got into his poetry and where he's been to do poetry and stuff like that, you know, because obviously Ryan, uh, he's been traveling a lot. So, you know, it's good to hear his experience. So yeah, we're just gonna kick it all off. So Ryan, yeah, uh, what you know, um, what made you uh, get into poetry? You know, um, I think it was more a way of expressing myself. Um, it started probably in secondary school, and then I think when I went to uni, I just left it, a, 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 left it alone for a few years, and then when I finished uni and, and moved back to the Midlands, the urge came back, and um, I, I thought if I was gonna do it again and I would do it a bit more seriously so yeah that's how it that's how it began um so I just want to get a bit of like so what is it so what it could you just tell us like what like poetry is for people that don't know yeah um I ain't got the, the probably the best definition but to me it's just um you know well I I, I do a version called spoken word so it's it's not the traditional written paid poetry that um you know probably more accustomed to um so more it's more about performing but without maybe the restrictions of maybe music or having to do things in a certain rhythm and timing um so it's to me it's just a form of expression vocally usually um yeah and talking about things that are generally quite important yeah I always, I always thought of like poetry was, uh, at school when you used rhyme. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. that that yeah. There's that, yeah. that element, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. So, so what? what go on. No, go on, Sean. You go first. No, I was just going to say, but with so with your poetry that you've done, you've also been able to. So, how long, roughly, would you say for you, for example, would it take you to potentially write a piece, or do you have to? Is it like a feeling? that you have to be um, in to kind of write the pieces that you do? I think I think a bit of both. I think a lot of a lot of the best pieces, and not, not just from my own perspective, other people I've spoke to, a lot of their best pieces are when it's, they're not forcing the session, let's say, or trying to force an outcome. Um, but at the same time, I think it's good to be intentional um, with your writing and, so if I also put a, a time, it can range. It can range really, depends what the subject matter is. But on the safe side, I would say, I'd probably say a week. But obviously some things, they might not come in a week. And usually they're the, they're the, better, they're the better pieces. So it does vary. But it depends what, um, obviously, what, the, what it's for and, and if there's any restrictions and stuff like that. But generally, probably a week. Yeah. So what? So with um, with like the poetry and stuff, what do you like? So how does it work? So like you, you know, you said like you express yourself and stuff. Is it just that you just suddenly get an urge and then you just feel like you know you want to write something? Or how, how does it really work? Um. Yes and no. I think a lot of the inspiration is just general day to day life, doing regular things. Um. So it's it's kind of. At the same time, you have the you do have the intention behind it, but hmm, kind of a difficult question to answer. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm good at that. <laughs> yeah. It's quite difficult. But, um, yeah, don't know. Um. So what? So what have you done with like your poetry? So what? What? What have you been doing with it? Um. I'd say the last couple of years, well, before the pandemic in 20, 2018, I'd gone to Atlanta because one of my best friends were living there. So I'd gone there to, to, to mm -hmm. visit him and, and kind of, <laughs> sure, <no. laughs> I went there to, um, <laughs> I went there to get an experience and obviously I hadn't been to America uh, or to that part of America before. Um, and I wanted to check out their scene there because they have quite a, a renowned poetry scene. Um, I went to the, I went there, and then further on, I went to LA um, in Vegas. But 
Yeah. Um, so them two cities mainly, they had a quite creative spoken word scene. Um, so once I came back in autumn 2019, September 19, I kind of decided then that, you know, they were appreciating me. So I thought if I can get those kind of connections there, then there's no limit to to the UK. So I started going to events locally in the Midlands, to, in London, um, started entering competitions. Um, yeah, and it's, it's, it's led me to into some very good spaces. Um, most, I'd say the most recent six months, a lot of things have started to, to come through for me. Um, so yeah, companies I've worked with or collaborated with in some way. Um, so like BBC Words First, um, the Arts Council England, who um, they're, I think they're the biggest art provider in terms of like funding grants and stuff like that. I've done, I performed at the Birmingham Hippodrome, which is a, a big theatre in Birmingham. And I've been to Box Park Wembley in 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 London. Oh yeah, um, yeah. So I've done I've done quite a bit at the moment, but I've still got a long way to go for what for what I want to achieve. Yeah. Yeah. What do you what do you do with them? Go, go on, John. You go first. No, no. I was just gonna say no. That's that's fantastic. You know, like you. It's, it's great. You know, like see that you've got out there and you're doing what you enjoy. You know, despite yeah. all the tough times, like you're persevering doing what you enjoy and stuff like that but no it's fantastic go on Luke what were you going to say I, I was going to say about the events what do you do at the events um, so the, mainly the events are for performing um, and networking really um, it does vary it does vary but um, a couple of them I've had I've been like the feature act uh, sometimes I've just gone there to network and perform me for when I can um, but you meet you meet all types of people there it's um I kind of enjoy the socialising aspect because a lot yeah. of people, there even even if they're not creative, they they're there to to see something, and it, it's, they're always good good places to be in because um, people are always trying to be do, trying to do something positive. Yeah. yeah. How how do you feel when you're performing and stuff? Do you get nervous? Do you, are you excited? Um, I do feel you... nervous, but it's a good nerve. Uh, good nervous. Yeah. But, when I was probably a little less experienced and probably less confident, my nerves would overtake me. So I'm not the best at remembering like words and stuff like that. So once, once I realized that was a, a hurdle for me, that started to eat away at my confidence. But um, now I'd say, even though it's still, it can still be a challenge remembering and stuff, but I'd say now I'm a lot more confident and, I just feel free when I'm performing. I feel completely liberated and just in my zone, in my element. So I really enjoy it. Yeah. How did you feel when you um, when you when you know when you first started doing your poetry yeah. and stuff? How did you feel like with your element with that? Were you quite nervous to share with people, or were you quite expressive yeah. with it? Or I, yeah, I think that's why I kind of put it away once. I'd got to uni because I, I I was kind of not ashamed, but it was just more like, oh, this is just a hobby. It's it's not something I, what can I really do with it? I just thought oh, it's just something I do or something I used to do when I was in my teens. And then, um, yeah, performing it was was another hurdle because <clears throat> you have, obviously you have your own self-critic. You don't know if the audience are going to respond well. You, you just never know. Um, until you get usually I think you get to a point where you have to be content within yourself um, mm. and doing it for that self-fulfillment which helps but um, I still yeah I still get nervous I still you know it's all very challenging but now I have some experience and more confidence I'm able to to ride that a lot, a lot easier yeah I was actually gonna okay no, that's fantastic okay so here's a one for you so this is a tough question so so for um so, so for your experience of you been there, like you said being able to you know at university you weren't able to you know you didn't want to go into it because it was just a hobby on the side yeah. for people that are looking into going into poetry what message would you give to them who want to start out or interested in poetry um, i think i would say just just be prepared to be to be vulnerable in a in a creative not so much to other people but to yourself 
um, be be prepared to have those difficult maybe conversations with yourself um, because people connect with that so much um, easier. I think that's one of one big difference between music and spoken word. A lot of people that go to these events, they're not yeah they're there to have a good time and laugh and joke, but they are there to usually to feel something or hear something that they might not necessarily hear. Um, so I think that would that would be my first my first bit of advice. Just be prepared to be vulnerable with yourself and and don't don't be scared. Most people can re- someone out there can relate to whatever you you want to write. Well, I was just going to say actually, a quick question. I know this is slightly off topic, but do you think that this could also help? slightly not maybe in a slight therapeutic way or in a way for people that maybe struggle with mental health could could come yeah. into stuff events like this could like um, poetry events could they come to these poetry events just to listen to what other people have to say and and they might think cool this might actually might relate to me but it also in the poetry you could you know they feel like it relates to them but it also gives them a confidence that they're not the only person going through it could it help them for people maybe yeah. going through mental health problems Definitely. maybe Definitely. I think um, most poets I've met and spoken to, a lot of it is is their therapy, it is their release. A lot of people that go to watch it, the same for them. Um, I think think a lot of performing arts in general is is very good for mental health, but poetry is, it's a special one because you, any poets that you meet or you know, if you ask them why they do it or how it makes them feel, I think you'll get similar answers, um, and it, it's definitely, it's definitely good for for, for uh, mental health. Uh, that was my. You got you've gone to my next question. To be fair, how does it make you feel? Um, it's it makes me feel alive. It makes me feel like I'm fulfilling something. I've, like I'm here to. I feel like part of me gets activated that doesn't get activated in most other areas of life mm. and that's how I know it's it's for me or I'm I'm meant to be doing it because it's it's an overwhelming feeling you can't put into words but once you see once you feel it you recognize it because it's just so pure and and strong but yeah I think that's why I feel free when I perform because everything else kind of doesn't matter in that moment. Um, and it's a really nice feeling. Yeah. So what, what have you, um, so what have you done with your poetry? So have you, you wrote a book, have you wrote a book? Yeah, I wrote a, I wrote a animation, um, animation slash poetry book around emotions um, tar- targeted towards children a few years ago, um, which I, which I accompanied with a few videos as well. Um, currently, uh, currently working on a, a separate collection. Um, I'm hoping to take my poetry into theatre um, in the next year or two, yeah. and and reach a different kind of audience because poetry is not for everybody. But I feel like it, it can combine with other types of art, and it's something I, I really want to explore. Um, yeah, and just just keep performing, you know, locally. Um, and hopefully in Europe, if restrictions slow down, start getting around a bit further. Yeah. Then back to Atlanta. Brat, brat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> back, back to Atlanta. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Hey, hey, you never know, bro. Mate, might, might make it to Vegas, bro. <laughs> Not Vegas. But the back bad again. Place, it's a bad place. A very it's a bad, bad place. place. <laughs> bad place. <laughs> oh. yeah. um, you've, all, you've, you've also got a YouTube channel, haven't you, as well? Yeah, I've got, I've got a uh, YouTube channel. It's just my full name, Ryan Dre Sinclair. Um, yeah, it just has, well, pretty pretty much has, I think, all of my videos or m- most of them, um, just over the last couple of years, really. Um, just a little space, like a compilation of them. But yeah, I, I use YouTube. Well, I don't use it as good as I can, as good as I should, but yeah, it's out there, yeah. It'll Mate, come. it's your time to plug it. Plug it. Plug it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, yeah, my YouTube channel is called Ryan Dre Sinclair. Um, no spaces. Um, 
Should I'll, be put one. The, I'll put it in the description as oh, well. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, so yeah, that should that's 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 probably the best place to start. Um, also have a website, ryandraysinclair.com, um, which you can find everything or links to everything. And um, yeah, that's, that's actually the best last question. Last question. Last yeah. question, <laughs> Ryan. Have you done any poetry on the football team you support? And that, for anyone that doesn't oh, know, that's Arsenal. No. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it'd be really impressive I, on that one, won't it? It'll be even worse. It'll be even worse. It'll be even worse at the end of the season if Leeds finish above yeah. Arsenal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the idea of writing about Arsenal just it just makes me sad. So <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't yeah. even. I wouldn't even think about it. Not until the season ends, anyway. It's uh, Venga, Venga in, man. Venga in. <laughs> Venga Venga in. Yeah, we need him. We need something. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, just just final one for me. Um, what's the future hold? So, like, what what are your plans for the future? Um, yeah, as I was saying, I want to get into theatre, take my art into a different format. Um, and I want to work with large brands. I want to, not in a disrespectful way, but I want to work with bigger brands um, and create some some form of legacy. Um, I don't quite know what just yet. At the moment, I'm just building my portfolio of higher quality visuals. Um, so when the time is right, if it does, if it does um, arrive, start connecting with with bigger brands. Um, and of course, I want to get my next collection out there and hopefully get it published. Um, and try and get into some bookstores as well across the country. So yeah, I'd say they're the main the main three. In the next yeah. probably year or two, yeah, yeah, nice. well, fantastic. No, Ryan, keep it going, man. That's absolutely brilliant. You know what I mean? Keep it going, and keep, you know, keep doing the great work you are. And I hope that you know more people get involved. You know, that's one of your favorite sayings: get involved. So, get involved, I hope a lot of people, you know, <laughs> get involved. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, uh, no, that would be nice. No, fantastic, mate. And uh, long may it continue. You know, you've got full support over here as well. You know what I mean? We want you to keep progressing and doing the best you can and stuff like that. So. Yeah, keep it going. And like I said, might end up back in Atlanta. Hmm. Might Vegas. be there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Appreciate hey. you guys for having me, man. Yeah. No, yeah, thanks for going on, mate. Yeah, um, no, time, really good. Nice to, nice to get a bit of a different insight as well of, you know, poetry stuff, because I, I didn't have a clue about poetry, to be fair. So it's nice to learn a bit about it. And um, it's nice to hear that you're doing well and stuff. And uh, you're going places with it. So that's really good to hear. And um, we'll, t- we'll get you on a football episode as well. Um oh. Can't wait. <laughs> maybe, maybe next season. <laughs> yeah, can't wait. I've got a lot to say. <laughs> yeah, man. Awesome. Thanks for having me, guys. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, yeah, thanks, mate. Yeah, thanks for coming on. Oh, and uh, thanks everyone for watching. Please like, subscribe, uh, click that notification button, and I'll put um, Ryan's YouTube page and his website down in the description if you want to check that out. And then Sean. Yep. Yep. Last thing, yeah, Ryan. Thank you very much for coming along. And uh, yep, check out our, our Instagram. And Facebook page at Let's Talk with Sean and Luke. Thank you very much for joining us. Thanks, guys.